Flipping news to get to at this hour. Investigators say a FedEx employee was shot and killed outside of his job in Delaware County. Police say the suspect ambushed the 51 year old man while he was sitting inside of his car. It is Friday night. Shari Williams off. I'm Gray Hall. The big story on Action News is that investigation after that same suspect who killed the FedEx employee ambushed officers on patrol in North Philadelphia just hours later. Police fired back, injuring that suspect right near 10th and Westmoreland streets. Action News reporter Bob Brooks live outside of Temple University Hospital where that suspect Bob is being treated while he is in custody. What are you learning? Yeah, great. That suspect, I can tell you, is in stable condition. But again, he is going to be facing some serious charges for shooting at police just a little while ago, just blocks away from the hospital. But again, for that murder near the Philadelphia International Airport. Philadelphia police say this is the aftermath of an ambush on their officers. That just before 6 o'clock this evening, officers driving their cruiser in the 3300 block of 10th Street started taking fire from a man sitting in his car. We hear some of it unfolding from police radio calls obtained by Action News. Crossfire, be careful with the crossfire. According to Philadelphia Police Commissioner Danielle Outlaw, immediately after the suspect started shooting, the officers took cover. But then the shooter got out of his vehicle. Now we have an individual that's shooting at our officers from a standing position and is now walking toward the officers that have set up and did everything that they could to establish some form of uh, cover. Then she says the officers were forced to fire back. They were able to take action uh, quickly enough to ensure that no one else was hurt out here. As far as a motive for why the suspect opened fire, the commissioner says he's connected to the fatal shooting earlier at a FedEx distribution center near Philadelphia International Airport. According to detectives, that's when a shooter walked up to a man sitting in his car and fired multiple times, killing him. The victim in that case has been identified as 51-year-old Bart Masioli of Levittown, a 28-year FedEx employee. Meanwhile, back at the scene in North Philadelphia, neighbor Anna Watson was emotional when thinking about the police coming under fire. But these cops come out here and they serve us. They protect us. They protect us. And they have families. They have children. They have grandchildren that they need to go home to. Well, Gray, I'm happy to report that none of the Philadelphia police officers who were fired at were hurt. But as far as a motive for that murder at the FedEx distribution center, that's still under investigation. Now reporting live in North Philadelphia, Bob Brooks for Action News at 10 on PHL 17. Gray. Okay, Bob, thanks for the.